Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode three of Chickasha Now. We're here with Brian of Reflective Image Detailing, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about his business and uh, what he does. So, Brian, tell us about yourself. Um, well, I'm obviously a detailer here. I'm the owner of Reflective Image Detailing. I'm also the certified trainer for Wagsha and Car Care Products. Um, I take basically, <clears throat> I have the whole set of Oklahoma, and then I kind of help with the guys in Texas and Kansas and the, the surrounding regions. Right. Um, before I opened my shop back up here, I was actually traveling the country training new installers on how to use the wax shine products properly, um, the ceramic coatings and stuff like that, getting guys certified. So. Right. And you, um, you'd recommend wax shine for? Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah. Mean, um, I wouldn't do what I do for these guys if I didn't believe in the product. Them having an amazing product makes my job that much easier. When you're confident and know what you're selling or trying to get people to use works, mm -hmm. it makes my job so much easier. <laughs> right. So right. And what is the focus of your business? When somebody comes in and they're like, "What can you do for me?" What like, What do you tell them? Well, that's actually it's opposite. We always ask them, "What do you need from us?" We are the we come up with solutions to people's problems. Right. So customer every, first. Customer first. That's kind of our goal is customer service and then. The new thing that we're kind of we're, we're trying to create and grow is the experience. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people think of a dealership as, or a detail shop, and they think, oh, they just wash it, they vacuum it, they wipe it down. There's actually a lot more to it than that. Yeah. There's a lot of training and experience and knowledge and things that I teach myself. We go out to different trainings around the country to, to stay up and up with the industry, but there's a lot of knowledge and stuff. It's really easy. People don't realize how easy it is to use the wrong chemical or the wrong product and cause damage. Right. You know, we really work hard to make sure that we're up and up using the right products at the right time, not only to, to create good product and, and results, but also to be efficient and be able to get it in a timely manner and get it back to the customer. Okay. You know, not a lot, not a lot of people have more than one vehicle, so it's kind of another one of our things is to try to get it in and get it back to them as quick as possible, but without you know, leaving the qual quality is always number one, but we also want to also be efficient to get it back to them so that we can get back to their home lives as well. Right. It's something that we're doing new this year is we offer free pickup and delivery. So if you're in Chickasha or within 15 miles of Chickasha, you know, there's kind of a radius, obviously, we don't want to drive an hour away for a pickup, but we do offer, whether it's at home, your business, you know, work, and we know everybody has a busy schedule. Right. So being convenient, doing top quality work, and offering this experience as a whole is kind of like our goal this year. So just bring, elevate the industry and, you know, just kind of set the standards a little bit higher and make us stand out a little bit, a little bit more than everybody else. Okay. So say I'm somebody who hasn't gotten their car detail, um, you know, I, I'll do it at home or yeah. I'll, I'll go to a car wash. What would your sell be on why I should come to reflective image detail instead? I mean, honestly, we, we have nothing against people doing it themselves. We actually, I encourage the DIY guys, you know. Um, it's fun, it's kind of stress relieving. Well, I guess, who, depending on who you are, it's stress relieving. I've, I've been detailing and cleaning cars since I was 15 years old. I bought my first car at 15, and the first thing I did was strip the seats out and vacuum in all the cracks and crevices and make that thing look as new to me as I possibly could. Right. And that's been an ongoing thing throughout my years. Every time I get a new car or as a car, I always like to keep it clean. So it's kind of like a stress reliever kind of a thing for me. But um, yeah, I totally encourage people to do it. Um, there's plenty of great information on YouTube, which is another thing that we're going to be starting. We're going to start doing some uh, some technical training and like how you know how to mm -hmm. videos, putting it on YouTube, TikTok, and all social media and stuff, just to kind of help people out. Not everybody can afford to come and spend two hundred dollars at the car clean. And we right. totally understand that, but we still want to be able to support those people. Come in and buy our products. You know, if you, this stuff is cheaper than what you buy on a black shelf, and it's ten times better. It's not diluted. It's full strength. It's all made in the USA, and it's all all natural. Right. There's no harsh chemicals that's going to cause any kind of damage. It makes it very easy and foolproof. It's it's, it's really good stuff. So okay. Um, now, as far as why would you want to bring it to us versus doing it yourself? Well, that, that's where the knowledge and the experience comes in. Mm -hmm. We can do it in a few hours and do a really good job. We have thousands of dollars with the equipment and tools here to make our job easier and to be able to produce those kind of results in a timely fashion. So right. um, that would be my one thing is, you know, why would you bring it to us versus do it yourself as well? Not to say that it's like in a you know, hunky way, but we'll probably do a better job. Yeah. We've been doing it for years. I've been in the industry between design, painting, 
I'm, you know, both in process and in the, you know, the plants. I, I have a thorough background on the, you know, the car industry and um, we just, you know, we've got the experience and the time and we can do it a lot, probably do it better and a lot faster than if you were trying to do it in your own driveway. So with all of this experience with cars, do you have any, do you have a favorite project that you've worked on or any crazy stories that you've witnessed? Uh, probably my favorite project is, I don't know if you guys know, but David Merchant is a local uh, gear in town in Chickasha. He's right. on the show Street Outlaws. Right, the 405. Right? The 405, yep. And um, I'm very fortunate enough to be a part of his crew and I've coded his big no prep king rogue 68 camaro that everybody knows from the show and um his new chevelle that he put on the, on the show this year yeah um, he's also had that in with me and i've heard that as well and the, the mustang that they're currently running so honestly it's cool because he's one of my really really good friends mm -hmm. and when this all started we didn't have any idea what this was going to lead to but watching him grow as a person and then you know, be accepted with the 405 and being a part of the show and being there with them and seeing all the behind the scenes, like that's probably one of my favorite groups of projects. That anytime my phone rings this day, it's like, oh yeah, what am I gonna, what kind of cool stuff am I gonna get to work on this time? Right. So you never know with him, he's always got stuff going on in different projects and changing stuff around. Matter of fact, I got a couple of wheels here for one of the cars that we're getting ready to put on the car to do some, some testing and some cruising and get some more enjoyment out of that new Mustang he's got. So. Right. So every time somebody sees one of his cars on the show, they can look at reflective image detail. They, they, like, that's why it looks so good. Yep. Okay. All right, that's they right. do pop off the screen. Yeah, they do. You you mentioned Chick Shea a little bit earlier. Uh, you grew up here, you moved back, you started a business here. Can you tell us, for somebody who hasn't been before, or maybe somebody who's coming back, what would you recommend? Why would you say Chick Shea? Why Chick Shea? Man, I don't, it's just a really great community. It's very close. It's a, Everybody knows everybody, kind of a, everybody has your back, kind of a deal. Um, everybody's friendly and nice. Um, all the, the food places, all the restaurants and stuff that are opening up down here. I know Brandy's just opened up, freaking awesome. Right. It's been a big answer. Everybody's been patiently waiting for her to get open. Um, it's awesome to see that she's finally open. Just a lot of good small businesses and I, I noticed that the city is really behind all of us. You know, you guys are, are pushing, you guys have our backs between the, the you know, the chamber and the, the development, you know, council and everybody else, Jim and them guys, like, it's just very warm and welcoming. You know, starting a business is a very scary thing sometimes. You don't know what's involved or what you have to do. Everybody has been so helpful and so welcoming that it made it really easy and it really took a lot of that, that stress and that weight off my shoulders. Like, oh man, like, am I doing this right? By making sure I'm going through it, everybody answered all the questions, pointed me in the right direction, go see them, go see them, get you all taken care of, it's been awesome. Right. Um, another cool thing about Chickasha is Christmas. Yeah. You know, everybody knows this is a Christmas town, the leg lamp, you know, the festival of lights, it's just, it's a really cool, little neat town to come visit, you know. Come eat, there's so many great restaurants and things to see downtown, but it's just, it's cool. I'm really proud to be here and say Chickasha's home. Okay. Okay, thank you for having us, Brian. Um, you. You're you're big on TikTok, right? Oh yeah, we're right. all on social all the social media platforms. Yep. How can people find you? Um, so Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, uh, TikTok. It's all going to be Wax Shine. Okay, that's straightforward. Facebook, all of them. It's all the username and the, the login thing is all it's all the same. So if you type in Wax Shine, okay, it just across the top somewhere, somewhere around here on the screen, but that's pretty much where you can find us on all platforms. Um, and if anybody has any questions or wants some tips from a pro, feel free to reach out. You know, we're not secretive. We're out to help everybody, including the other guys in town. Shout out to Aaron over at In-Depth. He's another great detailer here in town that we're very lucky to have. And uh, Patrick Reese over there with Bunk Boys. Right. So I'm not the only guy in town. You know, granted, come see me, but you know, there's a couple other guys in town that do really good work and it's awesome and they know we kind of we all talk together we're not competition we're friends and we're friendly and if anybody ever needs anything we always help each other out and i, I feel like that's how it should be right there's no there's no need for competition no need you know look at all the bread companies 
they're all still in business. You got 15 different types of bread, and they're all still there. You know? Right. There's not enough cards. There's way more cards of chicken shape than all three of us combined could ever perfectly plan to do. So right. We're all gonna eat. We're all gonna you know support each other and keep going. Making sure Chickasha has a bunch of clean parts. Make sure <laughs> Chickasha keep Chickasha beautiful. Yes, exactly.